morning, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School. Back out of the Pathfinder outdoor classroom with a ridge line in front of me again today. And I am a tinkerer. That's just all there is to it. I try over and over and over to change, perfect, and get things down to their most simplistic and basic level. And I think that the rapid deployment ridge line, as we have taught it in the past here, for at least the past 10 years at the Pathfinder School, with two prussics, bowling loop, slip loop for a rope tackle, tied off with a half hitch, is pretty simple. There are things about that that make it not as optimal, especially for either someone who's injured, someone who doesn't have a lot of strength, or for long-term use because of damage that can occur from the cordage, from pulling tight slip knots out and things of that nature, and rope-to-rope -rope friction when you're tightening things. So I'm looking for something else that is a good system that you can set up easily, that a basic level student can understand, and that a 12-year-old child can pull tight enough to have a good taut ridge line, or someone who only has one hand because they're injured can manipulate this system. And I think I've found it. And what I did was I researched probably 10 years worth of multiple people's videos online. You know, people like Blocky Thomas, people like the guy from Australia, different YouTubers that I don't even remember their names now who've just modified a little bit on the original rapid deployment ridge line. And I tried lots of different things. I had some suggestions on things I could do that semi worked. You can take that friction or that overhand loop that you are making that trucker sits with, and you can twist it a couple times before you roll it on the line to pull that slip loop through it, creating a larger knot, which comes under a little less friction. But if you're really cranking down on that thing, when you pull it, you still got to pull it to pop it out. So you're still putting that line under friction. So what I was looking for was something that even if there's a piece of this line that's under friction, that it's not going to be difficult to get it undone for anybody. And what I've come up with here is a hybridized system that employs the bowling line, bowling knot on the end, three prussics, two toggles that are permanently on the line, sliding up and down. It could be any stick off the ground, the hole drilled through it with your all on your SAK. Or if you're preparing it ahead of time, you could always use a drill at the house to make these toggles with. However, once you get this system set up, it's very, very simple, very effective, stays very tight. You could do it with one hand, leaning your body away against it, whatever you had to do. And you could put the system together with one hand very, very easily. And you don't have to tie any knots whatsoever once you have the system set up. So let's look at it today. Okay guys, simplicity is really exactly where it's at. All right, so what I've ended up with here is a bowling knot, a toggle, three prussics, toggle, remainder of my ridge line. You can see that none of that is any longer than an SAK that I carry in my pocket. It rolls a little bit longer than that, but the rest of the components are no bigger than an SAK. It all folds up neat and tidy into a small package that you can put into a pack or roll up in a tarp, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how I'm using this because this is kind of a hybridized system of a bunch of people's ideas that I tested and put together. So our first connection to a tree, we've got our line in our hand. We're going to move things back down the line and pull out enough line that we can get around the tree. We're going to hang on to one toggle and slide everything else out of the way. So we've got this one inline toggle. If we pull our line around and just put it through this bowling loop at the end, it becomes a self-tightening hitch right there. And we want to get it undone, all we have to do is pull on the toggle and feed it back through the loop and go. So it's as simple as this to set it up. I don't want to have to find sticks on the ground or use one of my tent stakes. If it's as simple as adding a toggle to the line ahead of time, that's just pre-planning. Now, as I'm carrying this hank down the line to go to the other end, I'm going to leave two of the prussics kind of out and away. Those are going to be the ones I use on the corner of my tarp. I'm going to take this prussic and this toggle that's on the line and I'm bringing them with me. I'm going to leave the toggle out about an arm's length from the tree. Excuse me. I'm going to leave this prussic about an arm's length from the tree. And I'm going to take the toggle with me. I'm coming around and I've still got my rope in a hank. And I'm going to take that toggle so that the rope is on top of the toggle. That's my pulling rope. And I'm going to place it in this prussic just like this and pull my prussic down. And now I'm going to pull against the prussic with this line 
which pinches the line in that toggle and allows me to get it tight and it does not slip once I get it there. Now, I could leave this just like this if I wanted to. It's not going anywhere. If I'm worried about it, I'll just drop a half inch over the top of the toggle and yank it down and call that good. Not necessary, I don't think. Messing with this thing, it doesn't come undone. Now, if I wanna get it undone, all I have to do is grab the toggle with two fingers and pull the toggle away and it loosens the line. And when I want it tight again, again, all I have to do is pull against that toggle and it locks itself right there. I wanted to give you a close up on this. And this toggle is just a little off center in the toggle, that doesn't matter. And the line straight through the toggle. Now, when I hold this toggle to put it inside the loop, I'm just gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna take a bite of the line, and pinch the toggle in it. I'm gonna pick up that loop I'm just gonna drop the toggle in that loop just like that. And that's going to pinch that rope as I pull down and self-lock, okay? It self-locks underneath itself right here because you've got one rope trapped under the other rope pulling against tension. If you pull on this toggle, it'll loosen that up. You won't have that tension anymore. As soon as you go back to drawing down on it, you locked it again. It is a simple, simple system. Okay, guys, I appreciate you joining for this video today out here. Hopefully, it's going to be the last one on this rapid deployment ridge line until I'm actually using it somewhere out in the woods or something and you see it there. But as far as dedicated videos, hopefully, this will be the last one for a while. I think I'm to a point now where I like it enough. I'm going to start using it to teach at the basic classes, which I have another basic class coming up in about three weeks. I've got a couple, three classes over the next few weeks here before that and then a basic class. I do want to give thanks to all the people on YouTube who have made videos about the rapid deployment ridge line things that people have changed and tweaked along the way. And then, especially people like Blackie Thomas, who I think one of his tricks was with toggle that locks down. And that really was the key to the success of this whole thing as far as ease of use. I just didn't use the whole system of Z-drag that he did on his video, but the locking toggle is definitely a winner. So anyway, just give it some credit where credit's due for people who have done some of this work, done some of this research, played with it, done some field time with it. And now I'm going to take what I've come up with out of those systems and run with it, guys. So I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back to another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys. Guys.